my god, I can't believe it. What? I got it. I got the promotion. That's great. What promotion? Marketing director. I'm the marketing director of the entire company. <laughs> oh, congratulations. <laughs> I busted my butt and I got it. Oh, that's great. I know you put in enough hours. Mm, there's just one thing. What's that? It's in Oregon. Now that's a long commute. Only about 2,500 miles from here. <laughs> Closer to Alaska. Did you know this was on the other side of the country? I had an idea. Wow. No uh, faxing computer modem type deal here. I'd be the director of marketing. I see. I leave in two weeks. Two weeks? Part of the deal. Will you come with me? So what happens if you turn this down? I don't know how much longer they're going to keep my department. I really don't have much choice. What about me? You know, I don't have a job in Oregon. I'll be making enough money and can take care of you until you get something. Things haven't been so easy between us, but this could give us a fresh start. Well, what about my house? Sell it. In two weeks? Sell it when you can and come out west. <sighs> oh. I thought this was going to be a quiet evening. I have to leave in September. When will you be back? Probably never. My visa will run out, and I do not have a company sponsor. Do you want to go? It doesn't matter what I want. I do not have any choices. I will miss you, Glenn. Have you tried everything? This is America. There's always loopholes. My student visa will run out in five months. Why are you telling me this now? Because I'm starting to have feelings for you. I think we should not see each other anymore. It would only make it harder to say goodbye if we got more involved. Yeah, but it's silly to end it just because it's a time frame. Hell, I'm sure there'll be a hundred other reasons why we won't want to see each other before that comes up. Well, why don't we just wait for one of those to come along before we make this thing up? I don't understand. Why don't we keep seeing each other and just see what happens? Think it is? Mm. Yeah, it is. You asked Sharon to marry you. Yep. Well, that's not champagne, so I can guess the answer. <sighs> it's worse. She doesn't even want to see me anymore. She says I'm um, crowding her space. I'm sorry, Darren. Mm. Nah, it's my fault. I, mean, I should have seen it coming. Don't be so hard on yourself. That's my job. Sharon obviously has no taste in men. Thanks, I guess. Look, there's a party with the gang down the shore this weekend. You should come. Uh, I don't know what kind of company. Now, I come feel. on. You won't be doing yourself any favors just hanging around feeling depressed. Besides, you'll have your friends to tell you how you screwed up. That's a good point. Look, I gotta get to work. You gonna be all right? Yeah, yeah, I'll be fine. Thanks for coming by. I just need somebody to share the good news with. <laughs> well, don't worry. I'll tell everyone before you can lift the receiver. That's what good friends are for. It's how great to become raisins. At least I'll be sweeter. I won't have much time for this once I start my new job. Your new job? Congratulations. New company? Just location. It's in Oregon. Hey, Robbie, you didn't tell me Merrill got transferred out west. Must have forgotten. 
You know, just one of those mundane details. What's happening with you guys? I don't know. Why don't you ask him? Guess I'll go flip some burgers with my buddy. When you find out, let me know. So that's a big deal. Why didn't you tell me? I knew I'd see you here this weekend. You gonna put on cowboy boots and head out west? You gonna stay here and search for gold? Good question. You know what? She's pretty. She's smart. Certainly successful. Yeah, but do you love her? You always were one to bring up the trivial points, Glenn. Well, that's part of my nature. Forgive me. You want to talk about something really important? Let's talk about sports. How about that Nets trade today? Why does she have to get that promotion now? Things were just starting to go all right between us. Now, this certainly makes things more complicated. Welcome to Life 101. Yeah, well, that's a class I never enrolled in. One I have no way of passing. You don't happen to have the cliff notes, do you? If I had them, I'd be out hawking them for a major book deal. I mean, would you be crazy about moving to Oregon? Hey, boys, how's hey. it going? Hey, man. Hey, Darren. How's the walking wounded? Ah, uh, you heard, huh? We hear quickly about women with no taste. I'm sure everything will work out for the best. Hey, man, I got just the thing for a broken heart. These babies. Drink enough of these, you get sick. Don't worry about your stomach, steady your heart. Works for me. So how's that been lately? The fact that he's here is a good sign. He was not a happy camper when I stopped by his apartment the other day. You should have jumped his bones. That would have made him happy. I don't think Darren will ever think of me like that. Don't sell yourself short if that's what you want. Besides, the timing's right. Ask him out now while he's vulnerable. American women can be so direct. It's very different in Japan. Don't you ever go after men in Japan? Yes, we do, but we could never ask a man out on a date. We must have the man ask us out. Sounds so passive. It is, but there are ways of getting a man to notice you. Like what? My cousin in Japan, Yusha, was very interested in this guy, Tak. So she went up to Tak and said that she had a girlfriend that wanted to meet him. But there was no girlfriend. Why did she do that? Yushi arranged for the three of them to go out to dinner. The girlfriend, of course, never showed. So Yushi had talk all to herself. Did it work? They got married one year later. Effective. <laughs> it didn't hurt that Yushi's father was Tak's boss. In Japan, most people have just one job their whole lives. It was like a date he couldn't refuse. Well, unfortunately, my dad isn't Darren's boss. I've heard of worse plans. I don't think I'll be stepping out for a while. I mean, that one hurt. Yeah, I can imagine. It sounded brutal. Well, there's nothing wrong with taking time off from dating. I was dumped by this girl, Sue, and I didn't date anyone for six months. And when I look back on it, <clears throat> I would have been miserable with her anyways. See, I always thought that if the chemistry's there, it'll happen. If it's not, well, there's nothing you can do about it. I mean, you can't knock yourself in the head because you think you went about it the wrong way, because... Probably wouldn't have worked out anyway. Thanks. No, I don't mean that in a bad way, Darren. What I'm trying to say is, you're either compatible or you're not. It doesn't matter if you're good or bad or handsome or ugly or whatever. It just wasn't meant to be. I think it was something else. I think Sharon wasn't ready to work at the relationship. It takes a certain level of maturity for any relationship to work. It's hard work, and Sharon didn't have that. I like the theory that blames Sharon much better. I'm going to get another beer. But there has to be something special to work for. I, Sharon didn't think it was there between the two of them. Well, then why did she go out with him for ten months if there wasn't anything special? She must have seen something in him or she wouldn't have seen him for that long. Sounds like a classic case of cold feet to me. Well, Darren's a big boy. He'll get over it. Eventually. <laughs> I wonder how things going with you and Yuki. We're doing great. The United States immigration I'm worried about. Well, what do you mean? Your student visa expires in a few months. You've got to go back to Japan. Bomber. Hey, you know, I got a friend who's an immigration attorney. Lawyers know all sorts of loopholes and stuff. Why don't you give him a call, see if he can help you out? These lawyers are expensive. Can't I just go down to the Bureau of Immigration and ask him myself? <laughs> what are you, nuts? You think any government agency is going to tell you how to get around its own rules? 
And the IRS doesn't tell you how to fill out a tax form. The Bureau of Immigration is not going to tell you how to get around one of its deadlines it's set. That's why we have attorneys. Yeah, but I don't want to invest all that money in an attorney. It's not like I'm going to marry the girl. Did you make any paper? Yeah. Let me give you his number. His name's Richard Cooper. Tell him you're a friend of mine and that you want to come in and ask him for some advice. He doesn't charge for first meeting. All right. Thanks. Hey, this day's between us. What stays is between us? Yeah, exactly. I'm not going to see this guy anyway. I don't think Yuki and I are all that serious. <laughs> Send them in. Hi. Ah, pleased to meet you, Mr. Dotson. You can call me Glenn. All right. Have a seat, Glenn. Thanks. Now, uh, what's your problem? Well, I don't have a problem. A friend of mine does. What's your friend's problem? She wants to stay in the United States, and she's on a student visa, which expires in a few months. So I was wondering if she could renew it. Uh, what she needs is a green card that would allow her to stay in the United States. Now, there are four ways she could get one. The first is she could get a specialized job, one that an American citizen couldn't do. Okay. Does she have any specialized skills that can make her employable in that regard? N no, not that I know of offhand. Well, next she could win the lottery. You mean lotto? <laughs> no, the visa or green card lottery. However, it isn't until February and the odds are worse than 100 to 1. Since her present visa only lasts a few more months, she won't be around long enough even for this year's draw. So what else? She could invest one million dollars in the United States and open a business. Is her family wealthy? Well, she's here on a scholarship, so I'm sure her dad's not that rich. Um, what's the last option? Marriage. It would make her a permanent citizen. Uh, aren't there any other ways? There aren't any other laws? Like if she gets really good grades or something. I mean, our country was built on really good grades. The government's really cracking down on illegal immigrants, and they're making it almost impossible for anyone else to become a citizen. Our Statue of Liberty, which says, give us your masses, isn't on the cutting edge of public opinion. I wish I could help you more. Okay, well, at least I know where things stand. Um, thanks for your time. Well, good luck. Thanks. Bye. That was extra special tonight. Was that my going away present? No, that was just my every night special. <laughs> Oh, that was much better than Robbie's every night special. That was a uh, super special. Any reason for it tonight? I think I'm going to put the house up for sale. Really? Yeah. Are you sure you want to do that? No, I'm not. But I figure I'll put it on the market, see what I can get. Who knows, maybe this place is worth something. I'll keep my bed warm for you out west. Oh. Well, let's hope it doesn't take too long. Let's hope not. But in the meantime, I'm going to help myself to a little snack. Ah! <laughs> 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 huh? oh. Hey, Jane. Where's Nancy? She's not going to be able to make it. She called me just as I was leaving. I tried to call you, but you had already left. I knew she didn't really want to meet me. Yeah, this was a bad idea. Don't be so negative. Look, it's a beautiful day and anything can happen. I've made a terrific lunch. It's no big deal that it's just us. What is that? Chicken breast? Grilled on a baguette with lettuce and tomato. Mm, I can deal with that. <laughs> now, nah, give me that. It's my area of expertise. Oh, excuse me, Mr. Bartender. <laughs> so how come I never heard of this Nancy before? 
Well, you were with Sharon this whole past year. I wasn't about to introduce you to someone while you were dating her. I knew you long before that. You never introduced us to her. Guess I just didn't think about it. Hmm. So what does she look like? Who? Nancy. Well, she's kind of hard to describe. She's not ugly, is she? No. Fat? <laughs> no. She's very pretty. So how do you know her? High school. We hung out together. Ah. Hey, come here, fella. Oh, no. he's cute. Oh, gosh. I'm sorry, you guys must really hate me ah, for spoiling that's right. He can eat that. Hudson's his name? Yeah. Wow. Well, he likes you a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Come here. Oh, like, hey, you want to sit down? No, oh, I really not Oh, come on. Couldn't. We got an extra sandwich. You got a friend who bailed out on us. <sighs> come on, sit down. Oh, I do look good. Yeah. They're... I haven't eaten all day. I'm starving. Yeah, I mean, um... The grilled chicken breasts are great and delicious. Thank you. Yeah. So, uh, I'm Darren. Hi, I'm Brittany. That's Jane. Hi. So, uh, what kind of dog is, um, Hudson? He's a Jack Russell Terrier. Oh, yeah? Hi. How old is he? He's about two. Oh, you stole the puppy, huh? <laughs> hey, you want some wine? No, I, I really no, shouldn't. No, come on. It's really good. All right. Hey, little boy. Here you go. So. Mmm, that's really good. What is it? Yeah, I don't know. Jane, what's the name of this wine? I think it's called Fiasco. Oh, Italian. I'm making a great dinner tonight. Are you going to be around? I won't be hungry. After my picnic with Darren this afternoon, I don't have an appetite. Was he still mourning Shannon? No. Get this. He found someone else in the park and asked her to have lunch with us. Why didn't you tell her to get lost? How could I? I already told Darren that the reason we were having a picnic was so that he could meet a beautiful new girl. What was I supposed to say when one really showed up? Excuse me, but this is really a setup so that Darren will want to date me. So just get lost. When I've lied. I feel bad that I told you about my cousin. It's not your fault. It was a good plan, it just didn't work. Do you think you'll see him again soon? He left his sunglasses on the blanket. I'll stop by tomorrow to give them back to him. I'm not gonna let this thing bother me. I can't believe that wench ate my sandwich! And she had this fucking little dog that started the whole thing. She probably trained it to find single, vulnerable men. Oh! I got it. Come in, Glenn. What's all the screaming about? Don't ask. I'm running out to catch a flick. Don't wait up for me, guys. What's the matter with her? Let's just say she didn't have a happy meal for lunch. Mm. <sighs> Thank you. They're beautiful. What's the newspaper for? It's the one as to help you find a job. All you need is one employer signing some papers and you can stay in the U.S. Thank you so much for thinking of me. Just one. And who knows, maybe you'll make so much money, you'll take me out to the test. I have something better than that tonight. Yuki's home-cooked special. Oh, mm, that sounds wonderful. Can I help? Oh. No, go sit in the living room and relax. I'll call you when dinner's ready. Okay. I can't stop looking at your paintings, they're fascinating. Thank you. One of my instructors said that what you paint is a reflection of your soul. So what were you thinking when you painted this one? That was when I was in Tokyo and my grandmother died. It's beautiful. You were close to her. Yes. How did you know? You can... you can see it in the painting. You are the first person who ever said that. Did she live with you? She raised me. 
why what happened to your mother? She died when I was born. Oh, I'm sorry. Your father, do you get along with him? Well, he's a very good father. He encouraged me to draw ever since I was little. He used to take me to many teachers to learn the different techniques. He was the one who encouraged me to come to school in the States. What's different from Japan and here? Many things are different. Like the language, English is much more direct than Japanese. In America, I always know where I stand with people. In Japan, there is a lot of speech that is open to interpretation. For example, a woman always says no when a man asks her to go to bed with him for the first time. But the man must perceive the no as meaning yes or no. Will you sleep with me tonight? That could be a good possibility. Perfect Japanese answer, a definite maybe. I don't know. Maybe I'm weird that I like it here. There are many women in Japan, millions. I'm sure many of them are very happy. You're not weird. If I was in your shoes, I'd want to stay too. Not my stomach the size of a softball. Good, maybe we can play a double header. You're nervous too? No. It's not scary at all putting your house up for sale and moving across the country without a job. Don't worry about that. I'll have more than enough to take care of us even if you never get a job. That's great. That's exactly what I wanted. To be dependent on my brilliant girlfriend while I slop around in the mud. I didn't mean that you won't find anything. I'm sure you'll find something quickly. Yeah, well, what if I don't? It's no guarantee. You'll find something. What if this new job doesn't work out? I know you've been very successful at everything you've done, and you're a very hard worker. I mean, but what if they transfer you again, or the company folds, or the boss hates you for some idiotic reason and cans you? What do you do then? What are you saying? You don't want to come? No, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying I'm scared as hell. Anyway, what time does your flight leave tomorrow? Two. Well, I'll take you to the airport. I can get off work. It's all right. The company's already set me up with a limo. No, really, I want to. That would be great. I'll call and cancel the car. Thanks. And I'm going to take you to the most elegant, good-luck dinner you could possibly imagine. Why didn't you let me take you out? I'm the one causing you all the headaches. It's too late. I already have seven o'clock reservations. I hope I haven't packed everything so I have something to wear. Well, you could wear nothing and still look good. You'd like that, wouldn't you? <laughs> Give the bacon something to talk about. <laughs> we do have a few hours to Hey, Jane, how are you doing? All right. You forgot your sunglasses the other day. I found them on the blanket. Hey, thanks for dropping them by. I was wondering what happened to them. It's no big deal. It's on my way to work. Hudson, come here, boy. You remember Jane? She made you that sandwich in the park. What is he doing here? Hudson, come here. I'm going to give you some breakfast. Hey, Jessica, right? Jane. Listen, well, why don't you come in and have some breakfast with us? I was just about to make us some eggs. It's the least I can do after that great lunch you made the other day. Thanks, really. I, I gotta get to work.
Hello? Hello? Jane? Is that you? Yeah, it's me. What's up? God, it didn't sound like you at first. I guess I sound different in the morning. What's up? Uh, I want to talk to you about Brittany. You know, that girl you just saw? What about her? Well, look, I don't have much time now. I mean, she's out getting eggs. But are you free on Wednesday? I don't know. Let me check my book. Um... Wednesday, that's the 18th, right? Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, this Wednesday, right? Yeah, it's the 18th. Yeah, could you come over after you finish work? I guess. Great. I'll see you then. Sorry, I'm late. Oh, uh, no, you're great. You still have time for the first interview. Elena, are you sure this is the right thing to do? Yeah, of course I'm sure. Come on, they, they might need an interpreter. But the outside secretary. Yeah, I know, but but if you show them that they'll increase their contact with more Japanese clients by having you on the staff, they might hire you. Okay? Now just give it a try. You have nothing to lose. But I'm not a good typist. Yuki, I'm sure they have plenty of good typists. This is, this is a public relations firm. You show them your special qualities and they'll love you. What special qualities? You, you speak and read Japanese, and, and you do your drawings, you're an artist. Did, did you bring the work? Yeah. Okay, great. Once they hire you, they'll, they'll sign anything, just so it doesn't cost them money. Okay? Okay, so good luck. Hmm? Nothing to lose, everything to gain. Try to get a job, try to stay sane. Hard, no job found, revolving doors go round and round. Wanna get a piece of this here town? Elevator up, don't bring me down. Oh, hey, how did that one go? They said they didn't need anyone with my qualifications at this time and that they would keep. Resume on. Yeah, on circular file. Well, it's a, uh, what? Seven no's and two will call you's. It's a start. Thank you for doing this for me. And uh, you had to take up what today, didn't you? Yeah, that's not a big deal. You would have done the same thing for me. If I had a job. Too quiet around here. That's what I figured. That's why I dropped by. How's it going? It's weird. Meryl called a couple of hours ago. She got in all right. It's just too weird. What's weird? Well, I always thought the woman I fall in love with, I would just know she was the one. Like, like bam! You know, lightning or something. And everything would be crystal clear. Everything would be perfect. But now, instead of bam, I have all these choices to make. Right. I gotta choose to put the house on the market. Right? I have to choose to move. I have to choose to continue this relationship. <laughs> this was supposed to be a lot easier, man. Whoever said relationships are easy was either single or a liar. Yesterday, I went running around with Yuki like a chicken with my head cut off. Hey, is she pregnant? No, she's trying to get a job. Ah, one of Cooper's ideas. Yeah, it's cheaper than a million bucks and it's less painful in marriage. Hey, if she doesn't find the right job, would you marry her? I can't think about that now. She's great, she's great, but I, I'm not ready for marriage. I'm 28, I'm too young. That is so easy for you. I mean, you know you're not ready to get married. You help her get a job, great. If not, sayonara. How much time's left on her visa? A few 
few months. When are you putting the house up for sale? Well, lady's coming by on Saturday. She was just cold calling, see if I wanted to list the house. Sounds like a hard worker. Hey, maybe it's fate. Maybe this is the woman that's meant to sell my house. You know, the uh, finals are on right about now. <laughs> Geez, Glenn, is your tube still on the fritz? Yeah, well, it's no law against killing two birds with one stone. <laughs> oh, wonderful. Excellent. Oh, such penmanship you have. Or should I say penwomanship? We have to keep those sexes politically correct. If I give you ideas for a line that I have, do you think you could carry them out? I think I could. Grab that pencil and pad over there. Now, we don't make evening gowns, but I'm going to ask you to draw me one that is long and flowing, something very elegant, something a movie star would wear. Make it off the shoulder, show the bust, sleeveless with no ribbons or bows. Black, go. Excellent. Be here at 8 a.m. tomorrow morning. I have a new line that we have to get at. Good morning. Good morning. I don't know if I'll be around for dinner tonight. I'm going over to Darren's after work. Mm, that sounds promising. I don't know if it is. He said he wanted to discuss Brittany. The thimble from the park? The infamous. Did he say what it was about? Not a clue. Maybe he wants to break up with her, and he wants to ask your advice on how to do it nicely. I don't know. I can hope, can I? Hey, Jane. Thanks for coming over. No problem. Come on in. What's up? I need your advice. What else is new? Now, I want to know what to do about Brittany. What do you want to do about her? Well, I, no, I, I really like her a lot, and I don't want to blow with her. I mean, I know I screwed it up with Sharon because I rushed too fast, you know, and I, I like Brittany a lot, and I, I don't want that to happen. I mean, I know I thought I wasn't ready for a relationship, but I, I, I think I am now. So I was thinking maybe you could help me out. You know, coach me a little with Brittany so I don't screw it up. I mean, you'd be helping me out a lot. I mean, because I don't, I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. Just a minute, I have to use your bathroom. I'll make us some tea. I want you to help me so I don't blow it. First thing you have to do is get the notion out of your head that you blow relationships. Just because things didn't work out for you in the past doesn't mean that you're a screw up. You're not. You're a great person, and I know it. Thanks. Think positive, and good things will happen. Believe that you're going to play this relationship outright, and then whatever happens, happens. Okay. Next thing you have to do is listen. What? No, I mean really listen. Uh, come on, I'm a good listener. <laughs> Sorry, Darren. But this is one area you're going to have to work on. I don't mean to hurt your feelings. I'm just telling you the way that it is. Do you know what she likes to do? She says she likes to go camping. We'll take her camping. I mean, I haven't been camping since, like, before puberty. 
mean, I hated it then. Well, who knows? Maybe you've changed. Testosterone can do that. I don't know. I mean, I don't have any tents or any stuff like that. My brother has all that stuff. I could ask him if you could borrow it. Why? You think it will work? Give it a shot. Who knows? You might actually impress her. Mrs. Stafford? Hi. It's Ms. Stafford. And please, call me Adra. Uh, come in. Can I get you anything? No, I'm fine. I have two other appointments today, so could I take a look at the house? Sure. I'll give you the grand tour. This is the uh, control center for the alarm. What's behind this door? Oh, that, that's nothing. That's just boxes and storage. There's nothing in there. Can you open it so I can see? No, I can't. <laughs> I have to get that fixed. You should do that right away, okay? Yeah, I'll work on it. And the kitchen. The refrigerator's brand new. Now, why do you want to sell the house? My girlfriend was transferred to Oregon, and she wants me to come with her. Wow, you're a real man of the 90s. I admire someone who can sacrifice everything for love. Yeah, I guess. Do you have a job out there? <laughs> no, I don't. That takes guts. Tell me about it. Are you sure you want to do this? I have a lot of clients who have listed with me, and I work very hard for them. It wouldn't be fair to me to put in all this effort to try to sell your house and have you change your mind. Yeah, I never thought about that. Do you love her? What? Do you love your girlfriend? Never mind, I shouldn't be butting in like this. No, no, it's okay. Yeah, I think I do. <laughs> I don't know. I thought I'd try to sell the house and when it came time to sign on the dotted line, that would be the moment I would know. A lot of people are going to have to put in a lot of effort for you to find out your feelings. Maybe this isn't such a good idea. Uh, don't sell yourself short. I'm sorry? Look, if that's what it takes for you to know your feelings, that's not such a high price. It's nice to talk to someone who's honest once in a while. Who knows? I might actually get a sale. <laughs> Thanks. No problem. I'm a romantic, and I think that special feeling between two people is the most important thing on earth. And if I can help you find it, so much the better. Besides, I've lost sales for much dumber reasons than that. How do you say that was wonderful in Japanese? Yokata. Yokata. How do you say Glenn was wonderful. Glenn Wajishim Kaju. Glenn Wajishim Kaju. Hmm. That sounds different from Yokata. In this case, it has to be. You know, it's great that you got that job so quickly. And Chen, he's happy with you? He used all of my drawings to design his new line. He's already given me a ton more work. That's great. So when are you going to ask him to sign the papers? Soon. I don't have much time left. All right. Happy birthday! Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. you guys are great, thanks. Crank up the tune! <laughs>
thirty is not so old that legs don't work for dancing. I'm just taking five and enjoying. Really? No, but it sounded good. What's up? Isn't everything going as planned? Yeah, it is. I just feel alone. I'm sure Meryl will call tonight. She'll cheer you up. Hey, come on. Everybody's going to the beach. So, Glenn, are you going to marry this girl or are you just going to walk around miserable the rest of your life? I don't think this is the time to discuss my life's decisions. Why not? Come on, we're your best friends. Hey, a little bit of advice. You let her go, you're an idiot. All right, thanks, Darren. That's enough. <laughs> Come on, everybody can see how in love you two are. And she's the best thing that ever happened to you, dude. Why don't you shut your mouth and give your asshole a chance? Just being your friend. You know what, you better wake up and inhale the tea. Cause you're gonna recognize that your best half is on the other side of the world. Like you know anything about a happy relationship. Wasn't it just the last party we had that you were the one who was moaning how, how Sharon wouldn't marry you? Now, now you're trying to tell me like Mr. Bartender expert on happiness what to do? Hey look, I may not have my shit together like you Johnny Hoops, but I can see things in people. And if you let her go, You'll be fucking sorrier than I ever was. Darren, you don't have a clue what you're talking about. You know, how can you tell me how to be happy when you can't even see what's going on in your own life? You finally have the chance of something good over here. You jump on the first blonde-headed bimbo that comes your way. Hey, you know, that was uncalled for. Hey, 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 cool, both of you. It's my fucking party, and I'm the only one that's allowed to ruin it. And I don't feel like it right now, all right? Robbie's right. Look, it's a beautiful night. We've got a great fire going. Let's not discuss life's plans, let's just relax. That's what I've been saying the whole time. Hey, I've got some marshmallows. Anyone want to toast one? Oh, thanks, man. Thanks a lot. What's up? Nothing. Really, you can tell me. I am very much in love with Glenn. And I can't tell him. Why not? If I tell him, it's like I'd be asking him to marry me. Telling him how you feel isn't a demand. I know that. And you know that. But Glenn would freak. You have a point. Maybe he'll mellow out. Thanks. Yuki? You okay? Her period. Bad cramps. Was it something I said? You know, there should be a law that every man must endure at least one gut-wrenching period once in his lifetime. Then he can feel what it feels like to walk around doubled over all day. That's a beautiful way with words, Jane. Hi, Robbie. This is your grandpa from sunny Florida wishing you a happy 30th birthday. Your grandmother and I hope you liked the gift we sent you. Give us a call when you get in. Adra, it's Robbie, one of your clients. I know who you are. 
Hey, listen, I hope I didn't wake you. Don't worry, you didn't. What's up? It's my birthday, and I'm feeling a little freaked out. Actually, it was yesterday. Is it the big 3-0? How did you know? Mine's coming up in nine months, and I'm not looking forward to it. Do you ever feel like life is passing you by too fast and you just haven't accomplished everything you wanted to? Man, when I was 25, I never even thought about time. Because I was young, you know, I had all the time in the world. Eternal life, right? I never worried about a relationship not working out because I was young. I knew I had time on my side. But now, I feel like my time is passing me by. It's not a game anymore. I've been starting to feel that way too. Really? I broke up with a serious boyfriend about three months ago. We even talked about getting married. What happened? He wasn't the one for me. He wouldn't have made me happy. It took a lot for me to break it off. And now my mother keeps bugging me about hitting 30 and not being married or having a boyfriend. <laughs> yeah. I wish my parents were still around to bug me. I'm sorry. What happened? Two years ago, they went to my mother's 40th alumni dinner at Skidmore College in Saratoga Springs. My father was driving back and the truck hit a deer in the other lane. The deer bounced off the truck and went through my parents' windshield. My father lost control of the car. They crashed. I mean, it was such a freak accident. How horrible. And this is their house. That's why it's such a big deal for me to sell it. I hope Meryl appreciates what you're doing for her. Yeah, I guess she does. Listen, I don't want to talk your ear off here. I just needed someone to talk to. It's all right. I enjoyed it. Call me any time. Happy birthday. <laughs> Thanks. Good, Good night. night. I can't sign these. Why not? I simply don't have time. We're simply too busy. We have three more lines to get out and not enough time to do it in. But it will only take about 20 minutes to fill it all out. That's 20 minutes that I don't have. If you don't fill them out and sign them, then I can't stay here. My visa's running out. Why didn't you tell me this before? You didn't ask? So you thought that if you came in here, did a good job, which, by the way, you have done, that I would be your ticket to the United States of America. <laughs> oh, little girl, you are so naive. I don't even have a green card myself. I wouldn't touch those with a 10-foot pole. I had a similar situation once. The young girl threatened to expose me if I didn't find a way to keep her in the States. I just closed the location and moved here. How long have you been running? Ten years and still going, just like that annoying Energizer bunny. Do you like living like that? I have no choice. If they catch me, they send me back to Korea and I lose all my boyfriends. Now, we wouldn't want that to happen, would we? I finish out the week, then you'll have to look for someone else. Oh, come on, Yuki, baby. We were born to run. Together, they'll never catch us, and if they do, so what? All that happens is they send you back to where you're going to go all along. I can't live like that. Sure you can. Come on. I don't want to lose the best artist I've had in 10 years. Yuki, come on. Yuki, baby, come on. Did we have an appointment today? No. I just thought after our conversation last night you could use some cheering up. So I brought over some Chinese food and a present. You did that for me? 
I don't see anyone else here. Uh, that's great. Thank you. Th uh, come in, come in. Um, sorry I'm not as well dressed as you are. Well, I think you look great. I just came from my last appointment, so I didn't have time to wrap it. That's okay. It's so you don't forget your hometown when you're gone. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. That's great. Huh? Very nice. Much better dress. Mm -hmm. Come on, let's eat. You have to come up there with us this weekend. I'll screw it up by myself. No way, Don Juan. I'd just be a third wheel in the way of your romantic freight train. I wish. Look, I need you there for support. Just give me a little coaching now and then. That's all I ask. Get out of here. I gotta get back to work. That means you'll do it. I'll think about it. But don't hold your breath. Thanks. Hey, it'll be fun. I said I'd think about it. I'll pick you up Friday. <laughs> Why do I love him? <sighs> there in the tents are designed to be put together from the outside. Uh, just checking for some rocks. You know, why the hell am I here, anyway? Because I asked you to come. I shouldn't be here. I should be back at my apartment with my remote control. Come on, Jane, I need your help. Why? So I can listen to you having sex with Brittany? Look, we have two tents. You won't hear a thing. Besides, come on, I need you to help me. I'll, I'll screw things up. Look, Darren, you're a big boy, and you are going to have to put that tent up now. Brittany, give me a hand with this tent over here. Sure. Hudson, sit. Good. There's some great fishing over there, guys, in that lake. If you want to go after we set up the camp. No, thanks. Sure. I want to hang out and catch up on my trashy romance novel. Ooh. for a fish to come along. Well, must be something we can do while we're waiting. Just relax and enjoy. <laughs> this can get kind of boring, can it? I mean... It's not boring. I never get bored when I'm outside. In fact, I think I'm going to be a park ranger if this acting thing doesn't work out. <laughs> Not me. I mean, I've always considered myself a city boy. Unfortunately, the city's the place to be if you want to act. But to me, this is the best. This mm. beautiful lake. Great sky. It's like heaven. It's quiet like heaven. <clears throat> Kids like the outdoors. Kids? Yeah, you know, children. Hmm. So how about you? You ever think about having kids? Not really, no. I, I never gave it much thought. Well, I want a ton of kids. 
You want fat kids? <laughs> I think I want at least five. Why five? I grew up in a big family. It was fun to always have somebody to play with. Uh, I was an only child. I kind of liked it. She wants to have five fat kids and live in a forest. Relax. It's not going that bad. She's not the girl I thought she was. You thought she was going to be perfect and fit very neatly into your life plan? I don't have a life plan. And if I did, it wouldn't include having five fat kids. Take a Valium and go to bed. Things will look better in the morning. <sighs> <sighs> Thank you. You're welcome. Give me a call if you want to put a bid in on the house. Okay, okay. great yeah. house. Good night. Thank you. Thank you for all the effort you're putting into this. Part of the job. I want to show you that door downstairs. I fixed it. Why didn't you tell me? I could have shown the last perspectives. Well, I fixed it for you. It's beautiful. Have a seat. Did you just do this? No. I've had this for many years now. Why didn't you want to show me this before? I've never shown this to anyone before. Not even Meryl? Why not? I guess I'm more of a romantic than she is. What do you do when you're down here? Think. About? Anything and everything. It's my own private space. So why did you want me to see it? I don't know. I just wanted you to. No, Wednesday is no good. I need it on Monday for a Tuesday promo. Now listen to me, you said you could get this done, and now you're giving me this tap dance. If I want a tap dance, I'll call Gregory Hines. What I need is 5,000 jerseys to spec. Well, make it happen. L listen to me, I'll call you tomorrow morning, and I expect to hear that it's done. Goodbye. Now, where were you? Asking Jen to sign the papers. Oh, did, did he sign them? He wouldn't. He's running from immigration himself. Well, can he put down a phony name or something? No. Oh, God damn it. Glenn, my visa is up in two weeks. I know that. Why do I have to come up with all the answers? I wasn't asking for you to solve my problem. You know, maybe we should just go our own separate ways. Maybe this whole thing is a big mistake, and maybe you were right we shouldn't see each other. I said that five months ago. Well, maybe you were right, and I didn't realize it then. Don't do this. Don't say that our time together is something that shouldn't have been. Why? We never had a chance anyways. You're a real bastard. Why? Because I won't marry you and get you a green card? I don't give a shit about a green card. I fell in love with you, and you broke my heart. God damn it! I'm sorry, I didn't get a chance to call. I was in meetings all day and I just couldn't get to a phone. I've been so busy. It's more work than I could have imagined. Hold on a minute, it's my other line. Hello? Hi, Ken. Yeah, we're still good for tonight. Eight o'clock. Hello? 
Hello. Do you have to go? No, it was just someone from work calling with a question. How was selling the house going? Well, there's no bids yet. And I'll let you know when I get one. Are you lonely out there? <laughs> I'm too busy to be lonely. Oh. I have to get back to work on a project, but I'll be calling you soon. Bye. Yeah, whatever. Hey, Brad. Oh, we got ten minutes to make that movie. I don't think we should go to the movie. Why not? Can you sit? Sure. I don't think we should see each other anymore. Why? Come on, everything's going good. You didn't treat me very well last weekend. Now, what do you mean? Come on, we did everything you wanted to do. I mean, we went camping. All right, so I'm not the best tent putter upper or fisherman, but I mean, I tried. You could have been a lot nicer when I forgot my pills. I didn't mean anything by it. It was just sexual frustration. Look, Darren, I appreciate the effort you made going camping with me, but it's not you. I mean, the whole time you were trying to be something that you're not. And Jane, Jane didn't even want to be there. What, did she say something to you? She didn't have to say anything to me. You told me that Jane was dying to go camping with us. Yeah, right. Jane couldn't wait to get back to her air conditioning. And neither could you. I mean, why was Jane there in the first place? I wanted her to help me with you. To help you with what? I didn't want to screw things up. I mean, I wanted her to give me advice on how to handle you. <sighs> how to handle me? If you need advice on how to handle someone, Darren, you probably shouldn't be dating them in the first place. Okay. It's a good point. So no more friends on dates, okay? <sighs> you are persistent, I'll give you that. Hey, I haven't even started yet. Listen, you're a great guy. You're going to make somebody really happy someday, if that's what you want. I've heard this swan song too many times. Well, you are a good guy. If I'm such a good guy, why are you dumping me? Because we're different. We both want totally two different things out of life. How do you know we want different things out of life? I mean, I don't even know what I want out of life. Exactly. And when I told you what I wanted, what do you do? You go and run off and tell Jane like a five-year-old. So, so tell me what's wrong with me. Come on. I, I want to know. Darren, there's nothing wrong with now, you. Now, bullshit, okay? If I'm going to get dumped, I want to know all the gory details. Darren. Come on, tell me what a schmuck I am. Tell me. Darren. Tell me. Fine. You happen to be the rudest, most insensitive man I have ever dated. You never shut up at parties. And you're quite embarrassing to be around. And worst of all... Every time you have a stupid little problem, you run off to little Janie. Just go. Don't be too hard on yourself, Dad. Just go, please! Glenn wasn't much help. It wasn't up to him to help me. He broke your heart, didn't he? Oh, that son of a bitch. He'll curse the day that he let you get away from him. I don't think so. He's so wrapped up in his work, he thinks he doesn't have to deal with you. But then one day he'll wake up and realize that you're gone. He'll miss the shit out of you. I don't know. I know, Glenn. And when he does realize it, I just hope you're married to some rich Japanese prince and Glenn can cry in his beer all he wants. Too much media hype to marry a prince. Well, whatever. Hey, I'm gonna call the gang. We'll have a party, drink some beers, say our goodbyes. I don't really want that. Oh, come on, Yuki, it'll be fun. I wouldn't be any fun. Besides, I don't want to put Glenn on the spot like that. Why not? 
He deserves to squirm in front of everyone. Thank you for thinking of me. You've truly been my best friend. Hi, this is Lynn. I'm not in right now. Leave your vitals and I'll call you back. Hey, Glenn. It's me. I know we had a bad fight, but I want you to know that I care for you very much and I will miss you. My plane leaves at 7.30 Monday night from Newark, number 703. It would be nice to see you there to say goodbye. Do you want to have children? <laughs> Boy, you're direct. It helps me to get where I'm going. Yeah, that might be fun to try sometime. How does Meryl feel about kids? I don't know, we never talked about it. What if she hates kids and just wants a career? I don't know. What about you? I could go for a few when I find the right guy. When are these people gonna get here? Oh, they're 45 minutes late. I think they're a no-show. I'm sorry. No, it's okay. I enjoyed it. Coffee was good. You made it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I was thinking, maybe we should lower the asking price of the house. Why? More movement. I think more people will come and look, and maybe you'll get more offers than you have so far. Yeah, but I need to get a good price if I'm going to pay off the rest of the mortgage and, you know, have anything left. Well, it's your choice. I'm just giving you an option if you want to sell. I've got another appointment tonight. Have you ever seen the film uh, A Thousand Miles to Romance? No. Well, I'm thinking about renting it tomorrow night, and... Would you like to come over and see it? Yeah, okay. Okay. Good. Uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. I'll make the popcorn. to go out with Darren, the asshole. She said I was rude. Fuck her. Fuck her, I did, too. Want a drink? No. Why did you ask me over here? Because I need you to tell me what an asshole I am. You are an asshole. Is there anything else you wanted? No, it's more of your witty company. Look, I can't stay here and watch you self-absorb into a catatonic depression. Well, I don't want to be depressed. That's why I called you up, to pick up my spirits. Well, it's not my job to pick up the pieces every time your life falls apart. Well, I thought that's what friends were for. We're all friends, aren't we? Of course we're friends. But, Darren, it hurts me to see you like this. Oh, <laughs> it hurts me too, especially tomorrow. Jane, hey, come on, where are you going? <laughs> Was it something I said?
Hi. Hi. Can I come in? Sure. Do you always have candles burning when you watch a movie? <laughs> no, that's just the pre-show lighting. I'll dim those once the actual feature begins. Have a seat. Can I get you some wine? Nothing. So, why did you ask me over? Because I wanted to. Am I another test to find out your feelings? No. I just wanted to have you over. Why did you come? Because you asked. Touche. Shall we watch? Let's. You're my client, and you're taken. I'm sorry. I have to go. Yeah, I'm sorry, too. I came by to apologize. Groveling is good. Come on in and give me some more. I, I know I wasn't on my best behavior the other day. I just, I don't know what I said that upset you so much. It wasn't what you said. It was your whole attitude. What do you mean? You were beating yourself up over a relationship that was doomed from the start. And you were treating me like shit. Look, I just wanted you there for the company. I mean, would you care if I beat myself up? Because when I see someone I love being hurt, I get upset, all right? Well, uh, excuse me? What do you mean by that statement? I don't know. Well, you, you love me like a brother, right? I mean, like a, like a puppy dog. A puppy dog. Why don't you just scratch me behind me? Look, head? just forget what I said, all right? Why? So you can crack on my memory lapses? I think you enjoy ripping into me. I mean, you're angrier at me than anyone I know. God damn it! I love you like I've never loved anyone else. And it killed me to watch you in these last two relationships. I wish it had been me that had just dumped you instead of that bimbo. Then at least I know you have one ounce of feeling for me. Well, say something. Surprise. Mara. <laughs> I can't believe you're here. Why did you come? I felt bad about not calling you on your birthday and for the way our last phone call ended. Well, come in. I'm sorry I didn't call you on your birthday, Robbie. I was just so busy. This doesn't feel right. 
I apologized already. What more do you want from me? Nothing. This isn't working, Miro. I'm here, you're there. There haven't been any bids on the house, and you can't even call me on my birthday. I'm just not happy with us anymore. What do you want? I guess I just want it to be over. Why? I want to fall head over heels in love with someone. Oh, come on, Robbie. It isn't the 12th century. No, the woman I fall in love with is going to be the most important thing in my life. I mean, God knows you have to put up with enough crap in a relationship, but if I'm going to do that, I want the woman to be absolutely magical to be around. I'm not going to spend the rest of my life and think, well, you know, I could have done better. Cut the crap. Who is she? Where did you meet her? There's no one. I just don't like what's happening between us. Bullshit. I know when I'm up against competition. No, there's no one, Meryl. You know what? I don't give a shit. I've got a lot of stuff going on in Oregon. I'm busy as hell, got a lot of new friends. <laughs> I don't want you to move out west anyway. Do what you want. Guys, hey, good to see you, man. Hey. Right. So I'll have a couple of cold ones. On me. I mean, I owe you guys for being such an idiot at that party. Oh, heck, you're always an idiot. It's just tell our friend. So you knew about Jane, huh? Yeah, we all knew. What'd you do when she told you? Great. I mean, I just yeah. walked out. I don't know what's gonna happen. So, what's up with you? Tokyo. And Meryl, what's the story there? Well, you know she was here this weekend. Here? East Coast here? Wow, that was a surprise right there. So what happened? Called it off. Oh, sorry to hear that. No, it's better that way. Wasn't meant to be. Listen to us. We're a sorry bunch. I don't drink to that. We should start hanging out again. Now there's a depressing thought. <laughs> well, this is a surprise. Can I come in? unlocked in case you need to make a quick getaway from your emotions. Come on. I mean, you totally blindsided me. I had no idea you had those feelings. Well, I'm telling you now. I'm in love with you. You've been my best friend for years, Jane. All right? Every relationship I've ever been in has turned out a total failure. I mean, you've always been there for me. You've been my rock. If I start dating you, I'm afraid I'll lose my rock. You could never lose me. I love you. Ah, uh, we could lose each other. I mean, how many friends do you know that started dating and then they only end up not even talking to each other? I don't want that to happen, Oz. I wouldn't let it happen. You can't guarantee that. I can't stand to see you with other women. <sighs> what are you saying? I mean, if, if we don't date, you won't be my friend anymore? I could never say that. You could screw up a million relationships. You could be a bartender for the rest of your life, and I would still love you. 
I am a pretty cool guy. You are such a conceited asshole. I'm such an idiot for finding you attractive. I take it all back. Well, I guess I should take these back then, huh? What are those? Nothing. What are what? they? Nothing, just some tickets for a show tonight. What show? Phantom. <sighs> yes. <laughs> Yes, yes, I'll go. Oh, what am I gonna wear tonight? Wait, I didn't even ask you to go yet. Broadway, look out. Jane and Darren are coming out tonight. Thanks. Listen, uh, I wanna thank you for everything you've done. It's been really great. Just doing my job. Well, you've done a lot more than that. You've helped me open my eyes. How? By showing me that what I want isn't impossible. And what is that? I want to feel special about my partner. And I want her to feel the same about me. You know, not just he's okay, she's okay. How did I do that? Because you're the most special person I've ever met. No one has ever made me feel as good about myself as you. Oh, I feel like a schoolboy who has a crush on his teacher every time I see you. <laughs> I didn't want to lower the price of the house because I was afraid I might sell it. Then I wouldn't be seeing you anymore. Nice. You want to come inside? Only if you show me your candles. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. <laughs> Uh, hello, I is Yuki there, please? N no, I, n no, I don't speak Japanese. Yuki-san, please. Hi, uh, Yuki? Yeah, it it's Glenn. Glenn? Oh, is this a bad time? Oh, I'm... Sorry, <laughs> I, I thought it was uh, two in the afternoon. W was that your your boyfriend I woke up? Oh, oh, uh, tell, tell your dad I'm very sorry I disturbed his sleep. I, I do make quite an impression on parents. <laughs> yeah, it's been a long time. Over a year, really. God, I didn't realize it was that long. No, no, I, no, I, I didn't mean it that way. I, no, I, I just meant it's been a long time s since I've seen you. Yeah, whew. <laughs> God, it's hot in this office. <laughs> of course you can't 
see that. Um, well, listen, um, I'm going to be in Tokyo next week on business, and I, I was just wondering if there was some way I could, uh, you know, stop in and say hello? Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, yeah, but I mean, I don't want to be in the way if, if you're dating someone else. Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, okay, great. Okay, so, so, so then I'll call you when I get to town. Okay, great. All right. Bye. Hi, Glenn. Hi, Yuki. It's been a long time. These are for you. Thank you. Come on in. Wait, I've got to get this out. Yuki, I know you haven't heard from me in a long time, but I've thought about you every night since you left. I miss you. Terribly. My, my life is it's not the same without you. And, and I realize now that I, I want you to be a part of my life. Please take off your shoes. What? Your shoes. It's impolite to wear them inside. Oh. Where should I put them? I'll take them. So what were you saying? Um... I love you. Will you marry me? Glenn, to be your lawfully wedded husband. I do. And do you, Glenn, take Yuki, to be your lawfully wedded wife? I do. By the powers vested in me, I now pronounce you husband and wife. You may now kiss the bride. I just saw him the other day. Hey, congratulations, old man. You finally took the big step. How's it feel? You know all the bullshit a guy goes through just dating a woman? I gotta say, it's worth it. I gotta hand it to you, Glenn. Did the right thing. Yuki's a great girl. There's a lot more than she can say about you. Mm -hmm. well, I always get the best end of every deal. <laughs> now, on the plane to Tokyo, 
Did you have any idea if she was going out with anybody? Well, I kind of asked her about it on the phone, but she was vague. So I just crossed my fingers on the 18-hour plane ride over. I'm just starting to get feeling back in them right now. <laughs> it's amazing how tough I made this on myself. How so? I could have married her last year. Made everything nice and easy. Well, life's not supposed to be easy. You know, there's that unwritten law we're supposed to make life as difficult on ourselves as possible. Yeah, I mean, you weren't ready to get married last year. Don't let anyone force you into a relationship. Take it from the king of not being ready. Robbie, be stepping into my shoes pretty soon. And now I think I'll bring my own. Thank you. Woohoo. <laughs> are you going to dance with your bride on your wedding day? Or are you going to talk with your friend? She wants me. Having a good time? I am now that you're here. I always fall for your corny lines. I know. You want to dance? Let's see. So, we're next. In more ways than one.